Chanel Beauty and I'm coming back again with another story time and this particular story time is about when I had to pull up on my so-called boyfriend at the time because he violated me and I had to pull up on him in the trap so y'all stay right, tuned so, yeah this particular um story time is about when I was still dating the boy that took my virginity and my like first love or whatever like that and he had been like was trying me and stuff like that um coming over mad late and just being disrespectful and stuff like that but i thought i was in love so my dumb ass was still seeing him um one particular night he came over and it was nobody else at the house yeah, this particular night both of my mom and my sister were out they wasn't coming home until like the next morning they were like out with their boyfriends at the time and whatever so it was just me at the house he came over we hung out i walked out of my room for about a span of 10 minutes and my room is at the back of the house and i'm at the front of the house i was in the kitchen doing something or whatever um so when i walked out you know the front door is in the front he um went out my window i guess he was very familiar with my window and so when i ended up coming back in my room he was totally gone and uh he went out my window left my window open and he also had like half of my curtain like falling out the window so like it was like swooped out the window so i already kind of knew the type of person he was so i immediately like was looking around and like um seeing if he took something because i never could trust him and it's sad to say because like i so-called dated this dude and i had this dude in my in my house and in my face and it's kind of like you know looking back at it now it's like why would you have somebody in your house like that if you can't trust them but i could not trust this dude for a fact um by himself along with my stuff or any of my other family stuff um in this one particular instance it was literally like maybe the first time i ever did that i left him by himself in my room so i automatically started scanning my room for stuff to see if he took it and i noticed that he took an ipod that i had just bought for myself like not too long before and i had got it for my birthday and i had always wanted an ipod he had um knew about it he knew i had got it and so he knew that it was somewhere in my room um i think i even that night showed him the ipod i think he like was like let me see it and i showed him but didn't think nothing of it um but he took my ipod and then went go and i could not get in contact with this dude for like maybe i would say like two to three weeks like it was a while and when i finally got in touch with him i knew in my head that I, it was just basically like business for me like it was just basically me trying to lure him to my house to get my shit back and to confront him and when he actually did come once again this was during the day though um both my mom and my sister wasn't home um they may have been like at work or something like that and i ended up confronting him about it and he played dumb and tried to act like he didn't know what the hell i was talking about and um it eventually turned physical because i was like demanding for my shit and it turned physical and he ended up putting his hands on me and grabbing me by my neck and like slamming me on the floor by my neck leaving me there to where i couldn't get up and that's when he took the chance to leave and when i finally was able to get up i was able to call like my people and let them know what happened i don't think they knew about him stealing my ipod at this time but they definitely knew that he put his hands on me so when they got back to the crib um i ended up telling them what happened and my sister went out looking for him and he used to just a fun fact used to hang around this trap house like not too uh far from my house it's like literally walking distance and i've been over there like at least one time like during the evening but i will always i always knew like exactly where it was and how the house looked and stuff like that so i was able to tell my sister you know where he normally would be at and after that um she went out looking for him and she did run into him and so she pulled up on him and they kind of had like i wouldn't even call it a relationship but they did meet each other before but they did not 
ever like see each other like that like once at the meeting like maybe one time never see each other uh like that to where they kind of had a idea what how each other looked but it wasn't to the point where it was like they knew definitely like that's that person so she ended up rolling up in her car and she wrote the window down and she was like we're gonna call him kevin she was like uh you kevin and he was like yeah like what's up you know and i think when he did that he ended up putting his head in the car like yeah what's up so when he did that my sister automatically rolled her window up and he had dreads at the time and it was like shoulder lump and she ended up taking his ass for a ride down the street and she took him a couple of feet and he was like you know like let me go like he probably like this crazy girl like he was like i guess still trying to figure out what was going on but i think he did eventually catch on i don't know if she was saying stuff through the window to him but i think he did eventually catch on to what was going on and she let him go and she drove back home and after that she uh told us that she seen him and we all rallied together i think it was just like me her and my mom it may have been my other sister too and we ended up going to where he was and his dumb ass was still sitting outside the trap like nothing ain't happening he's the king of playing dumb so <laughs> i guess he used to get his ass whooped and dragged down the street so I hopped out the car when we got there and I'm like confronting him, you know, doing the typical like you got me fucked up. First of all, you put your hands on me and then you had the nerve to steal my iPod from me and they tried to play dumb about it. So um, I ended up confronting him and all his homies is standing outside as well. They got a whole show that day that was totally entertained and laughing and shit. And I ended up snapping on him and just getting really really heated that i ended up just before i knew it just grabbed him by his dreads like a hole and was just like slinking him all around because it was a big ass car a carport in front of the house i was just before i knew it just was like slinging his ass all around just slinking him around the trap just slinging him just slinging him just slinging him and at this point like i'm punching him i'm cussing him out and all his homies all his homeboys just straight uh totally switched on him and they just totally was like busting out laughing like straight laughing at his ass and clowning him and they just sat down and watched and my mom and my sister too and they were just like oh, try me bitch because by this time he had already tried me so many times so at this point they was just over it and so yeah i ended up snapping um uh, partially beating his ass in front of the trap house because he had the nerve to try to put his hands on me like you're gonna act like a straight bitch and you put your hands on me and i ended up never getting my ipod back i don't know whatever happened to it um i don't know why he took it he never gave me a straight answer sadly unfortunately i was messing with him after that like some time after because it did take some time for me to get over what he did but being that he was like my first or whatever like that it was just hard to shake him so i took him back a lot of times over the dumbest shit like stuff that is like unforgivable damn near and i just you know i never got my stuff back he never gave me a straight answer to why he did it and where he put it and if he sold it or i i don't know so i never found out about that but i did have pull up on him and let him know that i'm not the one and i'm not to be fucked with and i would drag your ass in front of all your friends and all your dope so don't get me fucked up and don't get me twisted <laughs> so y'all thank y'all so much for uh tuning in again to another story time please like comment and subscribe if you do have a story like this comment the story um share with your friends your boo thing uh look at my past videos i do have other story times and other videos as well and also stay tuned to other videos that i plan on uh posting and i'm trying to stay consistent y'all i'm trying to just constantly put out uh content and yeah so hit that subscribe button and our bell next to it to uh let you know whenever i post another video thank y'all so much and stay beautiful Never take not a thing from a fuck bitch. Fuck a nigga if that do be on some fuck shit. I'm teaching hoes the game, so pay attention.